The Bat spell is here to wreak havoc on defenses at Town Hall 10, 11, and 12, and it is here to stay. But hey, what's up guys? My name is Bisectatron. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. This is sneak peek number two, the Bat spell, a new spell in Clash of Clans that spawns bats. Today we're taking a look at all the mechanics of it, how it works, the most effective ways to use it, as well as actual attacks from the test war in which the bat spell was used. So very comprehensive video. This is covering the Town Hall 12 version of it for the most part, but it applies to Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10 because the bat spell is slightly lower level and the defenses are also slight, also slightly lower level, so it kind of applies to there as well. Now, first thing you can see there is that it does not lure the CC troops, it does not target the queen. Only targets defenses, and like the Skelly spell, it's not going to lure the CC, but it is going to pop Teslas. It won't pop other traps like air traps, air skeletons, stuff like that, the tornado trap. And you can see how quickly it takes out those point defense. It's very, very effective against point defense, such as archer towers, Teslas, the defensive queen, um, air defenses. If you throw in a multi-inferno though, the bat spell will do nothing. So this is a very much of a swarm spell. It's very good against point defense, but not splash damage, particularly the multi-inferno. And like I said, it is available at Town Hall 10. So every Town Hall level you're going to be using it at, unless you get it donated to you in your uh, clan castle, is going to be... Um, a town hall level that has a multi-inferno as a possibility. Now with the wizard tower, it's a little bit better. The wizard tower is kind of slow. The bats can be spread out if you drop them correctly. And you can see we're dropping six max bat spells um, and they are taking out, what, five, six defenses, maybe seven defenses. Um, most of them being air targeting, such as archer towers, Tesla, wizard tower, plus the defensive queen, which shoots pretty fast. The best way to combat the multi is just to freeze it and then you rage up the bats as well and they swarm so quickly under that rage. This is a very effective technique, I think, to take out a portion of a base. It's kind of like the Electron strategy, except you don't even need your, your battle blimp with the Electro Dragon. It's just spells, just dropping those bat spells and they can destroy defenses. Moving right along here, we're gonna drop it on the Town Hall at Town Hall 12, um, because that would be a nice thing to be able to take out with the bat spell, avoid having to use the warden over it potentially. You can see here, I think we dropped, what, um, like three bat spells, I kinda didn't see how many. Um, but if you drop them like two, three at a time, they're really not gonna do a whole lot. The Town Hall, I think it's the second best thing next to the Multi-Inferno. That's a maxed uh, Giga Tesla on that Town Hall 12. Um, that is the next best thing after the Multi-Inferno at taking out the taking out the bats. So if you're gonna take it out, you're gonna have to try a little harder. Now keep in mind, you have to drop the Earthquake first to activate the Giga Tesla because the bats only target defenses and they won't view the Town Hall as a defense unless you drop that Earthquake on it. So this is actually can be effective if you don't want to take out the town hall, but you want to take out defenses around it, then just don't drop the earthquake. The bats will take out everything else. The town hall won't bother them. Now, once again, a rage in like seven or like three bat spells won't do it. So here we go. We're going to try our best to take out the town hall finally. And a freeze plus all these bat spells, all like six of them, that'll do it. But it takes these bats out quickly and it has so high, it's so high in hit points that takes a lot of bats to take it down. So it's something that can be done, but you gotta be careful. It's gonna be somewhat difficult to take it out. Um, it's better at taking out smaller defenses that don't have as many hit points. Now there are some other uses for it besides a swarm type attack. You can use it to tank an air defense. You see that balloon got pretty far because the bats were tanking. You can do the same thing for like a golem and a single inferno, kind of like a skeleton spell, but you won't have to worry about cannons or anything targeting it or bomb towers. So there's less defenses to kind of take out those bats. Um, once again, we'll take a look at a few balloons though. And didn't tank that well, but I think two bat spells, as we'll see in this next replay, is really what tends to do it in terms of being able to tank a significant part of the base. So yeah, here we go. Um, you can see we're gonna drop down our golem and the queen behind. It would be going up in range of that single inferno. But boom, two skelly spells, or sorry, two bat spells. I guess you could use skeleton spells as well. And it's able to tank that inferno very nicely. So there's gonna be applications for just one or two bat spells to tank. Um, I really like for like back end, instead of bringing a heal, 
bringing a bat spell, that's one less spell space than a heal. So if you have a big cluster of balloons and you have like a wizard tower, you drop the bat spell, it tanks for your balloons. Now, you can clone bats as well as skeletons, I believe, with the skelly spell. I don't know why you would want to. I would just bring three additional bat spells at that point. But if for some reason you want to clone them, you do have that ability. want to point that out as a, as a mechanic in the game. Um, as well as uh, the warden, if he happens to get the bats in his radius when you use the tome, he will protect them, as well as new bats spawned within his radius will get the effect of the tome, even if they haven't spawned at the time that you actually press the button. Um, furthermore, if you drop a minion or those other air uh, troops that trigger a red bomb, it will take out the bats, but the bats themselves will not trigger it. So if you have the bats in the middle of the base with other troops, they can get hit by those red bombs. And one more trap I want to show here, it's the tornado trap. We'll go ahead and trigger it with a minion. If the bats are in the area, they will get pulled in, but the tornado trap actually does not do enough damage to kill them. I thought that was very interesting. Some of those bats are a little bit low on health, but um, they do not actually get killed by the tornado trap. Okay, this is what I think is going to be one of the coolest, use, coolest uses of the new uh, spell. And that is on these areas of the base that people often have where the air defenses are on one side, but it's mostly cannons and defenses that don't target air intentionally. And that's to not give too much kill squad value. We often see these at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, even Town Hall 12. Two bat spells almost take out both air defenses. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to drop three bat spells and check this out. They're going to take out every one of those defenses. Just adding one bat spell overwhelms these defenses. And oftentimes we do see areas, especially at Town Hall 10, I would say, where people put um, all the air defenses and then like cannons, the king, bomb towers. They don't want to give up too much value to a kill squad in a hybrid La Luna attack. So they don't have the wizard towers over there. They don't have the inferno towers over there. And we're going to add in some archer towers a Tesla, just to make it a little more realistic, there might be this much damage in an area on a base. So we drop two bat spells, and of course that's just a little bit too much, they can't quite take out both those air defenses. But now hold on a moment. Let's go on to this next attack, let's drop three bat spells. That's how much it took to take out the entire part of the base when there wasn't the two archer towers and the Tesla. Now we drop three bat spells, and you're going to see they actually do end up taking out both air defenses. So instead of having to use like a zap quake, which might take like, what, like five spell space, maybe more, you have to have the air defenses close to each other too. Now you can take out two air defenses that don't even have to be right next to each other um, for the price of three spell space if there's not a whole lot of other air targeting defenses in that area. Now this last thing is very cool. This is an actual attack. Now keep in mind, this is before a new mechanic was added to the developer build in which the CC was not lured out. So the CC won't lure out, but that's not the point. The point is, look at how the bat spell was used here. Um, a rage, and then I think, I, lo I couldn't count, but there was maybe like four or five bat spells. Took out the Inferno, both Teslas, going all the way over to get the Archer Tower and even that Tesla. That is some insane value, and that's not a whole lot of spell space, and that is zero troop space. You can use the heroes up top there, take out the archer towers and the wizard tower, and then boom, you're, you're good. Just laloon the rest of the base, that thing's wrecked. Now here we go again. I think there's like two bat spells on each air defense for this one. Once again, uh, one of the important things you'll notice is there's not wizard tower in the area, there's not a multi-inferno in the area, and these bat spells are relentless. They only target defenses, which is the key to this. They're not wasting their time on storages or anything like that. And right there, um, for the price of only a few spells, you've taken out the entire compartment. Now you can do a queen walk, other stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. To quickly summarize, the bat spell is being added in the December update permanently. Takes up one spell space available at Town Hall 10, can be upgraded at Town Hall 11 and at Town Hall 12. It only targets defenses, and I think it's gonna be used mainly for taking out uh, a certain area of a base, just like we see in the Electron attacks, but it only costs spell space. So it might be paired with La Luna attacks or with Queen charges, where you take out maybe an Inferno Tower area at the very beginning of the attack. Can also be used for tanking for uh, big tanks, such as Lava Hounds or Golems that otherwise might get targeted by a single Inferno. 
There might be some other ways to use them and you guys will have plenty of time to experiment with them once it comes out. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned, sneak peek number three coming real soon. Another cool thing coming in it, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.